Trevor Story was tearing the cover off of the baseball throughout his tenure with the Rockies. In six seasons in Colorado, he hit 24 or more homers in five of those six years. The one season he did not was the shortened 2020 season, and during that he hit 11 homers. In 2018 and 2019, he peaked with 37 and 35 homers respectively. He was also very durable, playing 142 or more games in every season except his rookie year in 2020. That year, he played 97 games and played in every game but one during the 2020 season. Beyond durability and power, he was also a solid fielder and got on base at a high clip. He also showed off his speed, stealing 20 or more bags in three of his six seasons with the Rockies. Story made the All-Star game and won a Silver Slugger in both 2018 and 2019. He was set to make a bag in 2022 free agency, being one of the most coveted players. And he got paid. He netted a six-year, $140 million contract to play with the Boston Red Sox. Boston got a guy who was supposed to help take them over the top. The problem is, he hasn't really lived up to that contract, playing in only 137 games, batting 227 with 19 homers. At this point of two years in, it looks like a gross overpay for Boston. He did not look too bad in 2022, playing in 94 games with an above average 102 OPS+. In 2023, it is not crazy to say he flat out sucked. He played only 43 games with a 52 OPS+, which is just atrocious. But hey, you really can't get much worse than that. The only plausible explanation for this bad play was he was not healthy. It really was not certain that he would come back to play in 2023, but he did. He came off a UCL surgery in January of 2023 and still came back and played around August. He had some rehab stints in the minors, but never played in spring training, so there's a lot of rust, and it seems he was kind of rushed back. Coming into 2024, Trevor is healthy, and his spring training performance really goes to back that up. So far in 58 plate appearances, he's slashing a 380 average with a 448 on base and three homers. If he is healthy and plays to the ability he has shown throughout his career, I see no reason he does not have a breakout season after that 2023 stinker. His career numbers show last year is a true outlier and you don't get a contract like that for no reason. Some may say it's just the Coors effect that inflates his stats, and if you don't know what the Coors effect is, let me explain. So the atmospheric pressure at Coors Field in Denver is 20% less than a park at sea level. This causes the ball to fly, and these parks are very hitter friendly. Think of those Mexico City series games, but a little less extreme. Anyways, here are his stats in Coors compared to him on the road during his Rockies tenure. At Coors, he batted 303 with a 369 OBP and 95 homers and 1,592 plate appearances. On the road, he slashed 241 with a 310 OBP and 63 homers and 1,544 plate appearances. Strangely enough, Story would have hit seven more homers at Fenway than he would have at Coors in 2019, according to Baseball Savant. Even on the road, he ranked high in exit velo, hard hit balls, and barrel percentage. Regardless of where he plays, he could hit the ball. His away stats from Coors are still solid, and a lot of players do play better at home than away. I personally do not think he was a Coors Effect merchant, even though I can see the validity in those claims. Fenway's a very hitter-friendly park, but not as much as Coors. With all this being said, I could see Story hitting over 30 homers for the Red Sox this year. I do not think they will really be in playoff contention, but hey, anything could happen. Story just being healthy and playing well will get them there sooner. The bats are solid for the Red Sox, but the pitching is just not. Entering his age 31 season, I think Trevor Story will propel himself back into the conversation so the contract being worth it. I'm sure Boston fans would be over the moon if he had a good season. Story has a lot left in the tank and offers a lot between power and defense as well as ability to play hard. Story is one of my bounce back candidates for this season. Let me know what you think Story's stat line will look like this year. But anyways, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you later.